Good morning. Today is Saturday, April 18th. Week 72. Wow. Here wow. we go. <laughs> it's super early again. It is. I My schedule has changed. Uh, I have to be to work and ready to go by 7.30 in the morning now. So A little different in Saturday mornings. Turns out about 6 o'clock we get up and get moving. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And uh, didn't get too bad until late, which is our own fault. We were having some technical issues. We were uh, messing with the sewing machine for Stacy. She's been trying really hard uh, to get it all working. And of course, we're novices. Uh, didn't realize there were so much differences in thread. When you go to the store, you buy <laughs> what they have because you just bought what they have. Right. Got home and I guess there's nylon threads, there's polyester threads, there's cotton threads. <laughs> and some of them feel really weird and some of them break and some of them don't. There's tension wheels you have to play with and bobbins that get caught. And I guess there's just a little more to it than I ever imagined. Yes. So we finally got the machine running last night at about, what, 10, 11 o'clock? Probably and, closer to 11. Yeah. And she kind of, once she got it moving to the point where nothing got stuck, she was able to kind of piece something together pretty quick. Yes. But uh, so yeah, so that video is coming soon. Now that's There's just the something. The back of my mask. This is just material you had that you were just kind of playing with, right? Exactly. So there is a pocket for um, a filter. Nice. Of course, you can't find any filter, so we'll probably just use the coffee filter. And the nice thing with this is um, there's no elastic. I got a lot going on behind the ears usually with my hearing aids and my glasses. Um, and this one. You tie on. And then it goes right on like that. You tie it right behind. There's nothing behind my ear, so that doesn't hurt. It's got coverage underneath here. Easy on, easy off. And when we built our basement and, and finished everything and put walls up, I had to run new wire for our um, <laughs> doorbell. And sure enough, uh, the wire works out perfect for what she needed for Very the Very handy. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, it, it bends, it folds. It bends and stays exactly where you need it. So it's, when I wear my glasses. It's covered in plastic, so it's nice and comfortable. It's. I'm telling you, ladies, when you can't find this, you know, stuff that you need at the craft store or whatever. Shoestring from Bill's Shoes. Shh, don't tell him. Oh, yeah. That's one thing. <laughs> Yeah, so we were trying to be very crafty with what we had at home and just use what we had. So anyway, let's get right into our uh, weigh-ins and stuff. I know a lot of people, some people don't have time to listen to us babble, so yes, go let's ahead. get it. And uh, I'm not real happy with my weight again, but you know what? I haven't gone to the bathroom in a couple of days, so it is what it is, and I know it's not accurate for yes. what my body is. It's I just, just the moment. Just the moment. So it's one of those weeks that I'm not real proud of. That's all. But I did say we would come on Saturday mornings and tell you. So this is where we stand. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't even remember what my last week was. Last week, April 11th, I was 325.4. And today, April 18th, I weighed in at 330.4. That's up, what, five pounds five exactly. Pounds. I'd say at least three or four. But it's just me needing to go to the washroom. <laughs> but I won't go into all the details of that. It's probably been since like Thursday, Wednesday, since yeah. I was able to physically go. So it's Saturday and my weight reflects it. But I'm not going to fake it and I'm not going to get down on myself about it because I didn't go off keto. And I didn't even have a crazy carb manager day. So let me go to the bathroom and we'll be getting back at it. And a whole lot more active than normal. Yeah, we've been so busy. Uh, the entire week up till Thursday, late Thursday, we were making 320 shirts for another fellow Costco store. Yeah. And Stacy was amazing on the heat press. She was just helping me and I was lining up logos and we were we were sweat shopping it, baby. We were pushing it. And we got 320 shirts done, plus over 100 shirts for your Costco. Right. Um and then a couple uh, small, I had somebody wanted a shirt very similar to this that I made for them. And then I just put the words that I wanted on mine. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's just always something going on. I've been working on some police shirts. 
I've been working on some nurse shirts, uh, a lot of Costco shirts. Yes. Uh, yeah, shirts coming on my ears. <laughs> but to go on our bodies. To go on our bodies, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, just been really busy with shirts. But... Last week, uh, April 11th, I weighed in at 135.8. This morning, I weighed in at 136.2, so I'm up 0.4. Oh, I'd rather have so, 0.4 than, point, yeah. than 5 pounds. So not bad. Um, so apparently, she is going to the bathroom. <laughs> That's messing around. Not really, but... <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not down on myself. I didn't goof up and say, oh my gosh, I ate french fries and hamburgers. And I was like, no, I pretty much eat regular. I just got to fast more. I did get a small fast in. It was only like 22 hours. Yeah. I didn't even make it the whole day. And then... Uh, oh, the physical labor, though. I, I've been actually hungrier because we've been so active and moving and up and down the yes. stairs and folding and I'm just... get a lot of steps in. Yeah. <laughs> in stairs, my Fitbit's telling me, you know, you did six <laughs> things of stairs today. And yeah. then I moved all those boxes. That 320 shirts is heavy. Let me tell you, that was I think it was seven or eight boxes total. And it was all bill lifting. So, so I yeah, felt we can't bad. have her. We can't have her doing that with her shoulder and all. Um, but yeah, we had to lug them all downstairs. Then we had to press them all. Then we had to lug them all upstairs. Then I had to lug them from upstairs to the car. Then yeah, from one car to another car to get rid of them. You are yeah. awesome. Thank you. We got it. We got it done. We got it. We got it. Um, so uh, you got your weights. So in. that's what I did. You, well, she had been trying to get the sewing machine for a couple nights. Yes. Just for like a half hour, 45 minutes. We were reading books. We were watching videos. We we're trying to figure it out. And then the yarn, the, the yarn, the thread that we had uh, kept breaking. And we were turning the tension down and we were confirming that it was threaded right. And it was that thread just breaks the thread that we had was from the singer um and that kit's been sitting in there for years probably about five I years know. didn't know what was in it so we found quickly that that doesn't work however um you know we tried to use what we had so i did have some i have a really cool mask that i want to make but i really need black thread yeah so, so we gotta find, and we did find black but it was um what was it, polyester or nylon or it was something? Nylon. And it's so thick and it just doesn't, it just clogs up immediately. Had no idea that there was any. Probably using difference. the wrong needle on it. Um, I don't know. We just, we need some sewing help. But if we could find regular cotton thread, is that what you're looking for? Cotton? Yeah, the, um, no, Good it's luck. polyester. 100% polyester. I no, no. Or the and what you thread. want is cotton. Yeah. Yeah. If you could just find some black cotton thread, which good luck right now. Right. Um, then you can make that black mask. Yep. It's really nice. Um, this is this is my third attempt. So the first two days. Well, you couldn't get the machine to run smooth right. enough to get one seam going. And now, at least last night, just before we went to bed, she was actually able to figure out after three or four different threads. Okay, here's what's going on. I was so determined, and I was. <laughs> I called finally at, at after the second thread. Went back to the thread that I tested with the first time, and uh, I said, "Bill, could you please come down?" <laughs> yeah, she asked me to come down, and take a look at things, and I said, "I need help." Yeah, we we got it uh, figured out. A little bit of yeah. ingenuity between the two of us. Again, we are not sewers in any way, shape, or form. Um, that machine sat in the closet unused for. Six years, maybe? Seven five, six years? years. <laughs> no, probably. Well, we say four or five years. It's probably more like seven to nine years. You know how that goes. How old are those tires on that car? Oh, a couple of years old. And then you look at the receipt and it was nine years ago. That kind of thing. I'm just getting old. That's just the way my brain works. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so so we got our weights in, right? Yes. Was there anything else we were supposed to get in? Because there are some people that just have to go. No. No. Okay. Well, we are... Um, not having the best of weeks, but we are having a good week. I mean, we've good been week. very productive. We've had a really good. I mean, I'm I'm positive. We're I, very I, blessed. Yeah, I've got no complaints. I I could use a little more sleep, and I need to use the washroom, and that's just about that. About sums it up. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not liking being cooped into the house, but that's what we got to do to be socially responsible. And you know, I'm just very thankful we're all healthy. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Doing our part. Uh, I want, yeah, I want everybody to have the same. I think Michigan dropped to the fourth highest state the other day when I checked on the COVID stuff. 
versus the third highest state. Um, I think it was, uh, I want to say like, I don't want to say a state and be wrong. I I thought it was like Massachusetts or something. Somebody bumped us. And and tomorrow that could all change again too. You know how all this is. It's so fluid with all these different Mm -hmm. cities, numbers and cases and New York is still way up there. And I don't know how they're doing it, but man, they've got so many tests done in New York. Yeah. But I'm sure you hear all that stuff on the news because you can't turn news on without that. You can't even turn YouTube on without seeing the president or some governor or something going on. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to push Stacy to let me film her while she makes a mask now that we've got the thing going. It just, the, the thing of it is that you don't have the thread that you need. Right, so so you've got everything but thread. Well, I have a couple couple things of thread. I don't know why I have them. Um, they were just things that I used to sew. That all came from my mom's years ago. But if she lost a button or something, I had a little box just with a little bit of stuff in it. Right, and uh, that's why I used to sew a button on or fix a little collar or something. Yeah, I've gotten proficient at threading the bobbin. Mm-hmm. And threading the needle. And I thought that was going to be hard, and I can do it now even. Yeah, so I've I got just... that down pat. And then, um, so I've got a couple different materials that we've had from our body art events. Um, trying to dress up the table for different things, depending on what the event yeah, so... is. My favorite is um, from Halloween. She's got, what is that, a bandana or just a piece of fabric? No, it's just a piece of fabric. They call them uh, quarter fats or something. And I bought it because... It's it was great for the top of the table as a festive thing. Spoiler alert, but this is skull. a part of it, so it'll be... It'll fit you and It'll come this on, way, yeah. and then... Ooh, scary. <laughs> I'm so excited. You know, just have something different. So I've got some masks here. Um, Costco does provide masks for us, but they are the elastic behind the ears, and... I just can't do it. Between the glasses, you have trouble. Yeah, just can't do it. So, um, you know, I think that's probably something some people don't really even take into consideration. Right. Not so much the glasses, because a lot of people wear glasses, but hearing aids. Yeah. Because I hear your hearing aids go weird when something gets near them. Even your glasses, if you adjust your glasses, you hear, (laughs) you know, in the background. And I'm saying, oh, it's not bad for you. But uh, no, I can imagine that elastic of... The Costco mask, because I've actually put that on. Yeah. yeah. So God bless the medical professionals that have to wear the masks on a daily basis. Although I'm sure, you know, being able to take them on and off helps. But at this point in time where everybody's wearing them for a full 8 to 12 to 15 hour shifts, whatever they're doing, um, it's the least I can do for my ears. We are required to wear them at work, uh, I think, as of just, tomorrow. Yeah, it just happened, didn't it? Yep. So they just announced that. So... Even more important that I get this going. I got a couple friends that um, I'll do some masks for. They've been very supportive uh, with us, and yeah, um, so be kind of fun. Yeah, so I'm excited, and then I want to have a different mask to wear every day. Like I have a different T-shirt to wear every day. And I was telling Stace, I was going through the garage trying to get stuff. Oh yeah. And I actually found uh, I bought it for uh, to tie. This is weird. Um, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> why I have something doesn't make sense. But uh, we had a big blue tarp that I was using to cover our patio furniture, and it has all those little grommets in it. Yeah. And I bought a bunch of this, I don't even know what you call it, it's just like a white rope. It's very yeah. similar to this. And uh, I was putting it through uh, milk jug handles, and then putting it through the grommets, and kind of just keeping that tarp on, on place of our patio furniture. And it is... Very, so I was telling her, I said, I have a rope that's like this. So what you could do is run that rope through and yeah. put a tie in it or something at the end. And then you just have, it might look a little better than a shoestring. I don't know. But uh, I'll, I, yeah, I've got a couple things like that for her. So uh, I, and in the ingenuity of using that uh, <laughs> wire that was for the doorbell. Put it, look at it. It stays it in works shape. Perfect. It works so well. I'm so happy. It won't rust. I mean, we have pipe cleaners in our little craft thing that Julia used to play with all the time and stuff. Right. Um, but I'm just thinking if you wash that, it's going to probably rust and stuff. This is like literally all coated in uh, plastic. It forms and so it stays excited. really well. It's, it's a solid core wire, double, double seamed. So it's really comfortable. It's soft. Perfect. 
choice. It's just doorbell wire from Home yeah. Depot. And it'll work very yeah. well because the other mask a friend gave me um, fits wonderfully. But when I wear my glasses, they fog up uh, because there's no nose thing on there. So mm. I'm so excited today to try it. I have oh, you're going to wear this in. one today? I am. Oh, cool. I'm excited. I'm, I'm pretty yeah, proud of what I did. She's got a nice seal everywhere. And you do have the inner pocket. We could cut a coffee filter. Yeah. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do, doing different things. Do not use those things that have fiberglass in them. No. Like, uh, like a HEPA vacuum bag and no. stuff. Coffee They're filter saying don't do that if it has those a cheap. fiberglass material in it. Uh, coffee filter. I've got tons of those. Imagine that. Um, cut one of those to put in there just to give that second barrier. Some people use yeah. a paper toweling even. Um, and then Amazon. Amazon? What's that? Do you know what Amazon is? My favorite place. <laughs> uh, no, Amazon even has some insertable carbon yeah. mesh filters that do are specifically for masks. So um, I'll even, you know, see if I can order some of those up if they're not out of stock or something. Because you could slide those right into that pocket too. Yeah. Yeah, and there's different sizes. I'll measure it out and make sure you get the right one. I'm excited for her with the, the masks. And I love seeing you use the sewing machine. It's kind of neat. It's, it's, it's a, I'm almost a little nervous it about it because um, it's like a new toy for me. <laughs> no, that's cool. I just wish that the the way that the world is... Yeah. That you could go to Joann's or something. I, I did see on their website, because they're closed right now here in Michigan. I'm not sure if that's everywhere. Right. But uh, they do have order online curbside pickup on Saturdays and Sundays. So if you Today's go, Saturday. Now, if you go through the website and you pick out the things that you want, because I don't know anything about threads, <laughs> uh, pick the things you want. If it's in stock, you can order it for pickup at curbside. You might pay a few bucks, but yeah. you know they, they won't let you in the it's store. It's right down the street from where I work. Yeah, they won't let you in the store. So maybe on your break or lunch or something, see yeah. if you can go through their app, because there's an iPhone app. And uh, if you want to take a few seconds to look, and if they have what you need, you do it. order it for curbside. All right, guys. Well... We will talk to you soon. I'm very excited about Stacy's mask, if you can't tell from the last five minutes of us talking about it. Um, so I'm hoping to get her a video going yes. for that. And uh, yeah, and congratulations. You at least got a start of it going. Yeah. And this was like 11 o'clock last night that we finally got the machine going. <laughs> yep. So, and so. Then, then I pushed her to say, we've got to go to bed because we need to get some rest. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. You know, it's got a... A good fit there, and it doesn't go anywhere near my ears. Yeah. And then when you uh, do the little tie in the back, you just use your hair to kind of hide that. Yeah, out. I use my hair to hide it. So. Nice. Speaking of, I got to go. Yeah, she's got to get to Thank you work. all for watching. And uh, I got to get some sleep. <laughs> Maybe oh, man, sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's the only thing I feel like I failed on this week is um, sleep. I, I got a little bit of fasting, kept... Good with my macros. Yeah. My weight is way up, but I'm not even worried about it because once I go to the bathroom, whenever that is, You'll get there. it'll get better. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. It's a crazy Saturday. Yeah. So, everybody, if you're doing keto, stick with it. Even on a bad week like this, I'm sticking with it. I'm doing yes. my thing. It's all good. Trust the process. Trust the process. Stay positive. See ya. And, and, and look at my new shirt. <laughs> I'm just making some for fun. I don't know. Okay, I, I can change all the words up and make it say whatever I want. So Absolutely. I'll probably by the time you get home, I'll have three other ones to make you laugh. He, and he's not kidding. No, probably not. <laughs> all, right. all right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. See you later. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.